Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I have a haul for you. And yes, I may have broken my book buying ban. But in my defense, when I did it, things were on sale. So I didn't spend as much as I could have. That's what I'm telling myself to make myself feel better for breaking this ban. For real though, after this, I'm legit on a book by ban. <laughs> I just had a little slip, but everything's fine now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started to show you the books. So a couple of these were sent to me from Simon Teen. So thank you to them for sending me these books. And then majority of them I bought, so. Here we go. So the first book I have was sent to me and it was the, I think it's the anniversary edition of Are You There God? It's Me Margaret by Judy Bloom. I know this is like a staple. I feel like that everybody has read in like middle school, but I actually have not read this. I've seen the references, I've heard everybody mention it, but I just never read it because I wasn't really a big reader in middle school and even when I did start reading in middle school I was mainly reading fantasy so yeah I never really got around to getting to this so maybe I will check it out who knows I'm not really in a rush but it's cool the next book I received was Everlost by Neil Schusterman. So this is the first book in the Skin Jacker trilogy I think they redid the covers which is why there's, they sent me this. I actually have never read anything by Neil Schusterman. I'm gonna be honest, his books didn't really sound interesting to me, but I'm willing to check this out and see how I feel. Cause I feel like it's like a thriller or like a little creepy read or something like that. So I'm intrigued. Next I have Nightshine by Tessa Grattan. I know this is a fantasy, but other than the synopsis, I don't really know what it's really about. I think it's about like a girl trying to rescue the prince or something like that, but I'm intrigued. I I feel like I've heard things about Tessa Grattan, but I've never checked out one of her books before, so might give this one a chance. Next, I got Recommended For You by Laura Silverman. This sounds really adorable because it's about a girl who works in a bookstore and I work in the bookstore. So I'm definitely intrigued to see if I can relate to this because I wonder if we have like similar experiences because I feel like once you work in a bookstore, you definitely bond with other people who work in bookstores because like some of the experiences you are a part of are wild. I bought uh, The Gilded Wolves by Urshani Chasky. So I've heard so many people talk about this. I've definitely been intrigued and it's been a couple months since I decided I wanted to buy it. So when I saw that my store had only one like hardcover edition left, I figured it was probably time for me to buy it. And I'm definitely excited to check this out and see if I enjoy it as much as everybody else. Next, I got my October book of the month, which was Ties That Tether by Jane E. Aharo. I know this is about, I think, a girl who promised her father she would marry a Nigerian and then she instead falls in love with a white man. So I'm definitely intrigued to see how that goes. I kind of love the way the description described it. Next I have two arcs that I got from work. In case you don't know, I do work in a bookstore. So publishers send bookstores arcs and my managers are gracious enough to let us take them home if we're interested in them because otherwise they just kind of sit in the back and collect dust. So yeah, and they're technically supposed to be meant for us anyways because we're supposed to read them and be able to sell the books on the floor. 
So the first one that they uh, saved for me, I got Smash It by Francina Simone. I'm definitely excited to check this out. I've seen all the hype for it. I've seen a lot of people get excited for it. So I'm definitely excited to read this and see how Francina did. Next arc that I got was Punching the Air by Ibu Zaboy and Yusuf Salam. So uh, I've definitely seen all the hype surrounding this book. I'm definitely intrigued to see how I feel about it and I'm super excited to pick it up when I can. So the next few books are books that I bought while I was trying to be on a book buying ban. So the first one that I got was When Dibble Met Rishi by Sanya Menon. So I had 10 Things I Hate About Pinky and I really wanted to go back and read Sanya Menon's backlist books before I read that one just because I don't know, I feel like it's the best thing to do. And this was only $5, so I figured why not pick it up, especially for a hardcover. So, love that. Next, I got Graceling by Kristen Kishore. So this was only $3, which is why I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It actually sounded really interesting, and I've heard a lot of people talking about Graceling and how much they loved it. So I figured I would try and see what all the hype is about. So next I have Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I remember when this came out and so many people loved it and they were raving about it and so it definitely piqued my interest and I saw that this was two dollars and so I just went ahead and bought it because I was like why not join the the hype train even though I'm kind of like two years late <laughs> but oh well. So next book I got was The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. So my friend Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell was talking to me one day and I was telling her how I wanted to do some type of video that's like vampire themed at some point and so she recommended this to me as well to add to my list of books that I was considering reading and it actually sounded really intriguing and I think this is one of Julie Kogawa's like backlist books so I figured when I saw it that I should just get it now because there wasn't a copy in my store and then I went to Books A Million and it was just sitting right there so I was like instead of relying on Amazon I'll just buy it right now since this is like the only time I've ever seen it pop up in front of me in a bookstore. Next book I bought was um, Perfect World by I Aruga. So um, I saw this on Amazon and the cover really kind of drew me in because I thought it was really adorable. But then once I read the story, I was definitely more intrigued as well. So it's about a girl who meets up with like a classmate that like, she used to crush on and he is disabled now. And so she basically has to kind of get over her prejudice about like dating someone who's disabled and like basically get over herself. So I saw it was at Books villain and so I figured why not get it because I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. And then the last two books I was sent by Simon Teen and I actually got it today which is why I decided to make this video. And those were Five Feet Apart. And then the second one I was sent was All This Time which was written by the same authors. So uh, thanks to Simon for these and I'm definitely intrigued to check them out. So that was my haul. I'm gonna call this like my mid-fall haul, I guess. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and just leave all of that in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. Also, if you recently got a book that you're really excited to read, let me know about that down below as well. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.